The effort to get a pedestrian bridge built near Bossy High School is getting more attention from local and state officials. Evansville Mayor Lloyd Winnicky says he has talked with INDOT about the plan, and State Representative Ryan Hatfield is looking into other ways to pay for it. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch says there's still time for something to happen this General Assembly session. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett is live at the intersection of Highway 41 and Washington, where that bridge would be built with the latest. Mike? Yeah, uh, well, you know, we've been here for several hours, and, uh, you know, there's, we've seen at times a lot of heavy traffic come through here. And, but uh, right now, as you can see behind me, you see uh, we do have quite some cars coming through, but it's not, the traffic is not as heavy as it once was uh, just a couple of minutes ago. Uh, although, uh, one thing we don't see a lot of right now, we don't see a lot of people trying to cross Highway 41 by foot. Now, while efforts to get money in the state budget to cover the cost of a new pedestrian bridge have failed recently, the drive for one continues. Now we're going to build a pedestrian bridge. But the money to build one by Bossy High School isn't there, but it may be in the future. It's never over till it's over. Evansville Mayor Lloyd Winnicky says he spoke with INDOT officials earlier today about the need for a bridge. He says they're looking at technical data, including vehicle and foot traffic, plus funding costs. It might not be exactly as you or I might envision it today, but there are certain standards that they have to adhere to. And uh, so they are looking into, along with how they could potentially fund it, what it might look like at that location. State Representative Ryan Hatfield says he'll make another attempt to add an amendment to fund a pedestrian bridge. He adds he's studying grants and other ways to pay for it if lawmakers reject it again. There are several uh, funding opportunities around the country, uh, both from federal and state governments, but also uh, private organizations. And so I've been working uh, on some of those grants. An online petition for the bridge is more than 2,000 signatures as of this afternoon. Meanwhile, Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch says there's still time for the project to be approved. It would have to be taken up by a senator or representative. Uh, could be added into a bill still in the General Assembly. If the appropriate bill was available, amendments can be put on uh, throughout the entire process. State Representative Hatfield also tells us that he is working to try to get the support within the state Senate for this proposed amendment, but he adds that that amendment has to pass the House first before it can be taken up by the state Senate. Live in Evansville, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.